Hello everybody, Multiman37 back here with another review, this time of the Deluxe O's Metal Set SP from Kamen Rider O's. Now this is the set that appeared in the movie for Kamen Rider O's, the summer movie, and it comes with the Burakawani medals, and it also comes with an Astro Switch, the Magic Hand Astro Switch, um, which is... Kind of a, it was basically a way to entice people to buy uh, Forze stuff, and this actually is enticing me to buy some Forze stuff. I don't own the Forze driver, so this is pointless, but I will show it off for heck's sake. I'll bring that back when I actually do consider buying the Forze driver. But uh, until then, what you see is what you get. That still hasn't moved from yesterday. So, from the box, we've got... Uh, Osborough Kawani and Kamen Rider Forze base states and then this was where the metals were stored and uh, right there that indicates that it's a circle metal uh, on the back is everything you're going to do with this and even shows off the magic hand module and uh, the Gamba Ride machine that was going to be uh, remodeled in 2011 a little bit too late for that. Um, and I think that's the title of the movie right there. Uh, I can't read it, <laughs> but oh well. Anyway, um, let's take a look at the magic hand switch first. Uh, so these are astro switches, and these are what give Forze uh, his abilities, his you know his power-ups and all that good stuff. The standard switches are always done out in translucent black. And there are four types of switches. Circle switches are right arm. Uh, X's are right leg. Triangle is left leg. And square is... Well, actually, no, not triangle. Uh, X. Wait, no. X is right leg. Triangle is left leg. And square is left arm so this is number five the magic hand switch and does have a glittery sticker with a number five with a claw in the background um, and this is a normal toggle switch that you flip forward and when you flip this forward you get the first tab that indicates which switch this is and the second one indicates whether it's been turned on or turned off because you see it kind of sunk in um, Unfortunately, I do not own a Forze driver yet, and I do actually like how many power-ups Forze has, which is actually kind of cool. He's got a little... It, it's pretty much all over the place, so I might consider buying some Forze stuff. That's going to be a... But uh, when I do, at the very least, get the Forze driver. But when I do, I will uh, bring this back. Until then look at it and wait because I mean I've had this switch for two years now and it's practically useless to me uh, without the driver bummer um, but let's take a look at the metals now these three are brown metals which are related to reptiles the first reptile we get is the Cobra which is a head metal and that would basically uh, summon an actual cobra to attack whenever he played a flute. You know, kind of like a snake charmer. So you get the cobra right there, kind of standing tall and with its tail hung back. And on the back, you do get the one, indicating that it is a head metal. Very nice. Next up is Kame, meaning turtle, which is a torso metal that gives him... Uh, uh, turtle shells on his arms so that he can defend himself. Very nice. You got, you got the turtle kind of just sitting there. You know, the nice shell pattern sort of tail. And then it's flippers. And then you get the two lines right there. Next is Wani, which I'm not sure if this means alligator or crocodile. Um... It's hard to tell the difference. I'm just going to assume it means alligator. It's one of the two. I'm right either way. Um, kind of has a crocodile 
in a circle pattern right there. This is a leg metal that whenever he kind of, I think it was, I haven't watched the movie, but I think it was either, actually I think it was like a chomping sort of thing. I saw that one clip and I completely forgot ever since. These three metals were introduced in the movie which I'm not sure, but by the looks of it, there was a part that looked all old-timey. I might actually consider watching the movie some other time, because I have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. But, uh, I'm not sure what happened in the movie. I never watched the movie. Um, I watched a few episodes of the show, but I haven't watched the movie prior. So, I feel stupid. But, uh, either way... It's still nice to have these. And uh, they were in, like, another segment where Ozd used all of his combos, including Burakawani and Putotera, which he stopped using. I wish he would have used it and learned to control it a bit more because that one was my favorite form. Um, but either way, we got the... Bose driver right here, and the scanner right here. So first up, Cobra. Coming. Wani. Tilt this over. And get ready to scan. I haven't watched the movie, so I don't know what their combination power is. But as far as I know, uh, he never switched out any other metal. Because it was only used in the movie and that one other episode or special that eludes me at this point. So anyway, we do get a scanning charge sound effect. Very nice, very nice. Um, yeah, that is actually pretty much it. Um, this is actually a cool little set of medals that we got here. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a sound video for like every combo, like even for the oddball combos. Because um, that would take a little bit too long. But, uh, who knows, unless you guys want me to do that. Uh, but, anyway, I will see you guys later. Take care. Count the medals. One, two, and three. And also, switch on.